morning, good evening, good afternoon. I'm just setting up Minecraft right now. Okay. What are we doing today? I hope all of you got some sleep from last night. I better not hear all of you stayed up. All of you needed sleep. I'm doing good. I would hope so after the pigeon soup. <laughs> After the wonderful Valentine's meal. <laughs> I hope none of you stood out in the sun today. <laughs> this all of you were so flammable. <laughs> <sighs> I'm doing okay today. Um, I went to bed at like 4 a.m. again. Whoops. Then, um, Woke up at 12 p.m., I think. So bad for sleep. I'd hope so.
All right. <clears throat> so I forgot to um look up a tutorial on like what house to build. Um <laughs> So uh we may have to do that during the stream. <laughs> Whoops. Because I started to, and I was like, huh. Oh, let me switch screen. Yeah, gaming. We're playing. It reminds me, I need to put South Park back on the schedule. I don't know how next week is going to work because uh, I'm planning something special. Still need to make the announcement for it. Apparently trying to capture Minecraft is just, oof. Hello? Minecraft? Did I break it? Oh, no. Okay. Alright. Oh, I need to skip. Oh, god damn it. Oh, he's me. I need to scale the game unless I put it full screen. It's kind of hard to, uh, do this. I, mean, I should make, like, a gradient background to put behind the, uh, behind the capture window. Unless I put this full screen, like, we chuck the gaming overlay. Hmm, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm feeling lazy. But. You may notice my skin's different. Because I made my own. <laughs> I'm, I'm really proud of it. <laughs> this was a little bit of a headache to make. But, I made my own. I'm very proud of it. I'd say it's pretty accurate. You know, the hardest thing about making uh, Minecraft skins is when you have a reference. Like, you know, your, v your VTuber model. You have so much design and, like, details on the model that you can't put on the you can't put it on the um on the skin so you know we don't have a veil but you know that's fine i was i didn't want to i didn't want a veil anyway i may make another version that has a veil though 
Um... I mean, yeah, you know, I don't have the, uh, the cross on my shorts. And, uh, I need to put as much detail as I could. I may edit this skin again. Because I didn't test it, um, I didn't test it in-game. <laughs> Which, uh, I probably should have done. But I, I'd say that it looks pretty good. Like, for something I made myself? I'd say it looks pretty good, no? There's a back. You have all this luscious hair. It's a bit shorter on the uh on the skin, but um I'd say I'd say I did pretty well. Looks good, thank you. Alright. I don't know what type of house we gonna be building. We need to get more wood. We need to make a... Uh, another one. I need to make a stone axe. I still don't know how to get vein miner working. Should make a pressure plate. Yeah, I'm very happy. Well, I thought I had a mod that auto-replaces tools. There's so many mods that I just all of a sudden don't have. Because I put this mod pack together myself. But I guess I'm still <laughs> missing some things. Good locks. <laughs> nice lock. Piggies! I wish I had a lead. I don't have any... I don't think I have anything that they want. Otherwise, I'd lead them somewhere. Let me turn on the BGM. A soft BGM. If anyone knows, like, a, like a folder or like a list of just BGM that's like uh, copyright free to just play in the background, please let me know. You know, I could probably look it up myself, but we're already here. I just try to pickaxe a tree. Yeah, I don't know what type of house we're building because uh, I looked it up. I found a few videos, but it was like in the middle of the night, so it's just like, eh. Realize I'm bigger than me shrink. All right, we're good. It's sunset. We're still trying to mine and we're finding nothing. But what the fuck am I gonna do about it? We have a sleeping bag though. So I'm just gonna keep that. Um. <clears throat> yeah, plenty of wood. Keep the dirt though. 
When does this go? Usually I count snowballs as like a food thing. Cause I, I know you can like use it for food. I think. No, I'm thinking of mods using it for food. Not base game, it's not really a food item, I don't think. Grab my torches. Also, I kind of want to change my texture pack. I don't know what I have installed. And then we're gonna have to go deeper. No, they're zombies. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, greetings and salutations. Hey there, buddies. Oh! Aw, man. I'm good. I still don't know how to get vein miner working. I don't know. Because I literally have it installed. And. But it's like not the official vein miner. We got iron. Let's go. Oh, fucking copper. Copper is one of the most useless things Minecraft could have ever added. Lightning Rod House. Yeah, but like, besides that, it's pretty useless. I'm gonna add a door here. I'm gonna get some creepy crawlies. I'm gonna go get a door. I'm getting lost, man. Are you lost, baby girl? I'm gonna sleep. But yeah, um... Regarding the skin, I wasn't sure where to put, like, the buttons for my cufflinks. Cause like... I don't know, they just kinda look weird any place I put them. So I may, like... Edit the skin again. Yeah, I yarn. I was gonna make a thing. Who messaged me? Who?
Sorry, I got a Twitter down. Twitter's like on fire today, and I think it's like kind of dumb. I forgot I was gonna make. <laughs> um. My oh man, I really want to get into the winery. No. Shelf. Well, I didn't mean to make a shelf. I want to. That moment when I accidentally make a shelf. Whoops. Um. How do I not know how to make? No. Really. I don't know why he thought the other thing was a pressure player. Where's my doors? Well, we got shelves, like, accidentally. Um... Well, I'm, like, here. Like, display a door. Why did I do that? Oh. Yeah. Let's keep. Might as well just gut this. Oh, well, now. I also don't know, like, what resources we have access to out here, because <clears throat> I want to build over there, um, your deport. Que? Que pasa? Why? Why? <laughs> no! Why? Let me out! You gotta be fucking my dick right now! Really? I get teleported inside of it? No! I didn't set up this waypoint! The map did! And I can't get out! <sighs> I am getting lag spikes up my ass. I'm gonna check my settings. Hold on.
I don't think I have anything extra open right now. Yeah, we'll try a different shader pack. No, that doesn't help. Mm. Because, like, the main thing is that, like, I like shaders that have dynamic hand lighting. It's like when you hold a torch, it, it'll actually, you know, look normal. But most shaders don't have that. So then, like, I'm kind of limited in, like, what I can use. Because I like being able to just hold a torch and be able to actually see. That doesn't help either. <clears throat> if I didn't use the ray tracing for lighting, but the amount of textures missing was not worth it. I don't understand who would ray trace Minecraft. Just use shaders.
like a while ago I did like a search for um shaders that would be compatible with um like dynamic hand light for torches. And like some of them just straight up don't work. A lot of them don't have the dynamic hand lighting. Used it before I went and got shaders on your shaders now? Yeah. I don't use Optifine anymore. For like the newer versions, there's... There's like a combination- there's like Forge mods for it now. That are like a lot better than uh, Optifine. I used- to, I remember being, like, really mad with Optifine, because, like, sometimes I, like, couldn't use it. But, like, uh... The two mods that you have to use for, uh, shaders, they're, like, a lot better. In my opinion. Where is the dynamic hand lighting? Come on! Come find me. I keep having to cycle through some shaders.
I'm trying to check my performance because I never lagged. And I don't understand what is making me lag. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna turn on V-Sync. <laughs> Maybe that's an issue. <laughs> voice dying. Hold on. Let me drink some water. <clears throat> but yeah, um... I want to live in the village I found that is very close nearby. And then when I try to teleport to it, and I got stuck. So I gotta physically go there. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what um, resources we're gonna have around us. Dangerous, dangerous, danger, danger, danger. I I did the fucking thing. I fucking fell down. On accident, I fell into a ravine. I need to get out. I need to get out. No, no, no. What is making me lag right now? Never gonna be far from home, too. Oh, I'm hungry. But yeah, I wanted to show the area that I want to move into, because it's a really beautiful area. But I don't know what resources we have, and we have a fuck ton of flowers, but fuck flowers is going to do for us. We got plenty of pumpkins, so anything pumpkin related we can make for food. Since we have uh, food mods. Like, doesn't this look so cozy though? Like, we could move into one of these houses temporarily. That fucking scared me, god damn. Like, it's a very pretty area. I'm like, <laughs> I wouldn't mind living here myself, actually. I'm like, like, not in Minecraft. The one thing I have to deal with, though, is snow. But, whoa, did you fucking see that? I am, like, just lagging out of nowhere. 
It's not even like a real lag. It's just like... It was like a stutter. I wonder if there's like an OBS plugin where like I can show you like what I'm listening to on Spotify <laughs> because like random shit will be happening and then I'd be like hold on guys this is my jam <laughs> I wonder if there's a if there's something that works like that I don't know oh my neck dude Could also be the resource pack. Because sometimes multiple things can just like cause like strange like lags out of nowhere. It's probably Accenture or something. Yeah. I have to look into it. Because you know, I'll just sit there and be like, you know, we could be talking about the pigeon stew, fucking spaghetti with mold, and then it'll say I'm listening to, uh, damn, what's a funny song? Uh, number one victory royale. <laughs> I don't even think, is that even on Spotify? <laughs> Sorry, all I see over Twitter is just, oh my god, look at this VTuber. And they're like, lolly. And so they're like, okay, but like, 
Do you have to talk about it publicly? You couldn't just block, move on, shit like that? The world doesn't need to know that you don't like something. Just live life. Life's too short to, uh, do this stuff. That's all I'm really gonna talk about it. Like, it's all over Twitter. It's really stupid, in my opinion. Like, I try to stay out of shit like that. Like the whole call out post things we don't like. Smell chug chug. What the be royal? Uh, I don't really listen. I mean, most songs I listen to are, has like wacky titles, like Deep Throat. There's a song called Deep Throat by Cupcake. <laughs> it's a good song. Like, I don't like to put my songs in playlists. I have them all in my likes. If I didn't like the song, then... That's about it. Like, my playlist is my likes. Like, I will listen to my entire likes. Hello, good sir. Wouldn't it be wacky if I put the, uh, the Victory Royale song, like, as our background, or as our BGM? It just- <laughs> I think that would be annoying for people, though. Yeah, I have like a whole bunch of songs that like I just listen to. Is it copyrighted? I'm not sure. A sunrise. Ugh, bruh. You know how much I would kill to, like, go outside and see a sunrise like this? Like, bruh, I just want to live a peaceful life like this. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Zombie. Like, bro, I would love to just live somewhere so peaceful, so calm. I don't think I have the mod for the birds. But, uh, wait, do I? Hold on. Egg. Egg, egg sandwich. Sunrise like that very common. <sighs> well, like, it depends on where you live. The fuck. 
thought it was a fish. I was about to kill it. Oh my god. It's like, ooh, fishy. But I don't have any fish. Yeah, can I edit this? Because, like, it... <clears throat> X... Y... Hat hat. <laughs> you know, one of these days I'm gonna get a comment that's like, Are those horns on your veil like cat ears? No. They're supposed to be devil horns. <laughs> to represent, um, reincarnation by an evil entity. And they only disappear when I take them off. I think in the next design, though, I will add, like, horns permanently. I think that would be cute. Are those cat ears? No. I'm trying to figure out what... Which line to change, so then I don't get bonked? Let's see. X is a crab. Yeah, we'll change this to nine, and we'll hope for the best. All right, let's try teleporting to that. Fuck yeah, dude! I no longer have to teleport inside of that shit. I mean, we got pigs right here, so, like, this is another reason why I want to live close to this village. Oh. I forget what clearing, though. Hello, kitten. Did you see that lag spike? Roy froze in midair. Why am I lagging? <laughs> Cause like, I know there's multiple factors as of why you could be lagging. It could be your shaders. It could be your resource path. It could be your settings. I nearly fell down the ravine! <gasps> Foxies! Hello, Foxies! Hello, babies! Oh, wonderful babies! Oh, I've been blessed by the great divine! <laughs> Thank you for the egg. Did I check this? Oh, but they're gold! God damn it! You know, I'll take this shit anyway. Thank you. Uh, well, we got like a good chunk of a uh, nether, nether teleport. Mark this. Never. But 
broke broken. Mark it in red because it's to hell. When the snow is just like, <laughs> no, I don't know. <sighs> we will put it on. Hello. However, it's experience. <laughs> yes, <gasps> White Fox. Hello, Foxy. I wish you could tame them. They'd be so cute. Pets around the house. Oh, they'd be so adorable. And no squids. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just exploring a little. The fuck? I don't trust walking on snow anymore, dude. You know, I'm gonna bring it task manager. I'm gonna watch what happens. It's covering comments, by the way, so, uh... Not much is happening, though. Like, literally. My game... My, my, my PC's handling everything like it's basically nothing, so I'm... walking on snow anymore. Yeah, besides power usage, which which is fine. Game just not optimized. Sorry, I didn't I just now read that because I had fucking um I had task manager open. But yeah. My PC 
PC is fine. It's not like, oh, you know, GPU high, or CPU high, memory high. Everything is fine. It PC's acting like nothing's happening right now. Yeah, the game's probably not optimized well. I was gonna show or find the area that I want to build my house in. Yeah, we're gonna get, we're gonna take shelter and I'm gonna check my folder for something. I already fucking closed it. Cause I didn't think I needed opening it. Oh, I'm opening Curse Forge back up. Thank you, villager. I'm gonna see if, uh... If the mods I need for shaders ha need update. Everything needs an update, though. Sir. Aside from, like, mod, nothing else needs an update. Did we have a lag problem before? I don't think so. Did my PC burst into flames? <laughs> you know, one time, is, most of the days when I'm just in here like playing with like a game settings, I feel like one day all it takes is just one thing, my PC's gonna explode. <laughs> like fucking GPUs catching on fire, uh, shit exploding. I'm going to turn this up. Watch his YouTube PC boost keys. <laughs> like, like, bruh. I just sit here and be like, what if I crash? <laughs> like, what if it, ch what if it just takes one game and, and its settings and then blow up pc gone broken diminished demolished any care Well, this song sucks. Just like one game I had it auto enabled ray tracing on Mac settings and use 100 of my RAM. Dude, I hate when shit does that. I remember uh, when I got a new a new GPU, not the one I'm using now, but I got a new GPU. It was like a 1660. I I have a 
3060 right now. But when I had gotten my 1660, I opened Sims 4 and <laughs> I know it's like Sims 4? It had that shit on Ultra? <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry. The PC I was using back then was practically a fucking potato, but my GPU was like, you know what? We can handle it. Okay, this, I'm, I'm like, the GPU may, but the rest of the parts probably can't. Because either way, Sims 4 is fucking optimi plat optimized horribly. Even years later, even when I, I have a gaming PC, that shit take forever to load. It lags, crashes sometimes. Sim Sims 4 is never going to have any better performance. Because <laughs> they're too busy pushing out new packs to actually pay attention. <laughs> Forever means once. Sure. Do you experience playing a game on an old laptop? Wait, <laughs> graphics? Oh, not from Intel. Oog. <laughs> that reminds me of a what is that game called? IMVU? Imvu? How the fuck you pronounce it? I tried to play that on a shitty like work laptop. <laughs> that laptop was probably like broken the day I bought it. <laughs> Because, uh, at random times, like, the audio would double and sound so crunchy. And it would only get normal if you restart. But yeah, don't buy Intel. Don't buy Intel. <laughs> at least they're laptops. Don't buy Intel laptops. The laptop I got barely had any storage. It would crap out just from like opening Chrome. And then the first PC I got, oh boy. <laughs> my computer decided not to pick up my 3060 Ti so I had to reinstall Windows. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> oh my god, we can see your shaders. Ooh. What are you gonna do? Fight me? This is the one I use. I like this one a lot. There's some other one that has um, dynamic hand lighting, but I don't remember which one it is. Bring any alarms. <laughs> And then my PC fucking explodes. Well, it didn't explode yet. I used to like this, this, uh, one. Except, like, there's just, like, a weird... A weird, like, graphics thing. Why am I shining? Am I FBI agent? Why am I shining? I'm shiny! <laughs> I'm fucking glowing, dude! Yeah, 
good. <laughs> Realistically, starts computer to power plant. <laughs> Bro, literally. <laughs> it literally did. Some of these mods, not mods, some of these shaders don't even fucking work anymore. Like, I just have not bothered to, like, download updated versions. I'm just using, like, stupid old ones that are, like, like, years old. <laughs> Five years old. It's like, I don't like to download new shit. Like, yeah, we um we need to play with like the um um greatest graphics possible. PC burst into flames. <laughs> that reminds me when uh I had my old PC and I was running uh sixteen sixty. Uh I was trying to play the game control, and control has the ability to do ray tracing. So I was like, you know what, let's test it. Me knowing that it would do horribly because my because my PC was half a potato. And I did it and my GPU my GPU fucking sounded like it was taken off as an airplane. <laughs> like even now, like like, I find it so funny when I hear, like, GPUs start revving up and they start taking off. <laughs> yeah, I find it really funny when I, when, when I can hear how hard PCs are working. I mean, lackless shaders, but, like... There's no damn thing for it. Dynamic can light is supposed to be on, but like, it's not there. I am starving. What have you had for dinner today? Have, has anyone had dinner yet? <laughs> Turns PC on turbo mode. <laughs> okay, but like, seriously, that was me though. <laughs> like, dude. Listen, my mods folder for Sims 4, still to this day, it's at a thousand files. No, two thousand. And it's only gonna get bigger. <laughs> I may or may not have a custom content problem. <laughs> Listen, I could post pictures of, like, Sims I've created. I make them, like, beautiful, gorgeous. Everyone looks beautiful and gorgeous, except for the townies who just spawn looking like train wrecks. I haven't played Sims 4 in months, though, because one of the mods I use has not been updated in months ever since the, uh... What was the, what was the pack that came out during summer about, like, elders? He was at a game. <laughs> I think mine. Mm, I think my Sims 4 mods. Like. I don't know how. I don't know how much it was. I really need to move my Sims 4 to like a different drive though, because it's on my main drive. And that's probably, like, contributing to the problem. <laughs> but... I haven't had the time to just change its install. Can you change where the file is? By just, like... Telling 
EA to put it somewhere else? Because otherwise I would do that. Mm -hmm. How did you manage to get to get like four hundred gigabytes of mods? I don't even know how big my Sims Four mods were. But they filled up an entire Google Drive backup, <laughs> so I had to split it in two and split it amongst two accounts. Not on Steam, you can't? Oh yeah, I don't have Sims on Steam. I don't think I ever will. Because uh, uh, like, you have to install Origin anyway, no? Uh, I don't know what that means. All my mods were on an SSD. All of my mods are on my main hard drive. Which may be contributing to, like, my issues. Now the game's really chugging. Let's try something else. I don't know what's happening with it. The distance control is gonna fall. I don't think it's gonna get distance. Yeah, he, he, I don't install his EA. I don't like EA. Yeah, shows me a strange Didn't Origins, uh, EA Origins turn into, like, whatever the fuck it is now? EA Play? God, I remember when I bought Sims 4, like, all those years ago. I was like, oh, I got a dental origin? Uh. Bro, I had Sims 4 on a disc. <laughs> I had Sims 4 on DVD. <laughs> Everything else, though. I have digitally. You see, just get different. I know. Oh my god. Do you know what I really want to do? I. Okay. Has anyone else played Wizard 101? Because, like, that shit was my jam and jelly. <laughs> I love Wizard 101. I really want to go back to it. <laughs> like, I would love to play Wizard 101 again. 
Oh my god. I want to play Wizard101. I wonder if I could ask a whole bunch of VTubers if, like, they could just play Wizard101. I don't have a sub, though. How much are Wizard101 subs anymore? You know, I'm looking this up. I know we're getting so off topic and I'm supposed to be fixing my game, but, like, Um, Play for as low as six dollars and sixty seven cents a month. A six month sub for Wizard 101 is $50. It's not the worst. Family or multi game, whatever the hell that means, is $6.95 each. One month is nine is ten dollars 12 months is eighty dollars the hell Okay, so the family thing, whatever it was talking about, is basically if you're a parent and you want to force your kids to play Wizard 101, you pay a separate price and you can save $3 per account if you purchase two or more one month memberships. So basically, you got to get several, have several accounts. So if I wanted to go back to Wizard 101, if I want to do, like, a monthly sub that reoccurs monthly, it would be
makes you submit I'm sorry, huh? For the for the kid thing where you the the um what the fuck was it? The parent play with kid thing? God, you gotta, you gotta prove that you got kids. <laughs> that is so stupid. Not trust Wizard 101 with a picture of my kid's birth certificate, dude. That's like the ESRB, uh, what do they want to do? They wanted, to, uh, parents to submit a face of their child and the AI would determine the age. Like, that's gonna be real fucky wucky for like. Adults who look young. And then the ESRB is going to be like, well, um, um, <laughs> sorry, we think you look like a kid. It would not work. Yeah. Okay, we're lagging anyway. It's not okay. It's not a shader issue. We're just lagging anyway. Um Damn, I still don't know. Maybe. A 22 year old AI, you look 16, bruh, yeah. Especially with nowadays and, uh, like, younger people trying so hard to look older than the older are, like, shaking and crying to look younger. I watched some documentaries on that. Not necessarily documentary, like, video essays on YouTube. Who basically are like, you know, we ha we're in a trend now where if you're older, you need to look younger. And if you're younger, you need to look older. But either way, like, like aging, like, especially like young adults, aging look is like a sin, basically. Like you can't have one face wrinkle, you can't have a pimple in the wrong place. 
I find that shit fascinating, but also like really sad. Cause like, bro, I can't, like, I already have gray hair. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Like, not even, not only just like VTuber, I have gray hair. I have gray hair IRL. <laughs> like, I'm not that old, but like, my gray hair came from a lot of stress over like decades. And like, I got them wrinkles. <laughs> I got wrinkles, crinkles. Like, I definitely... Like, I'm practically a grandpa. <laughs> but like, I don't care. Like, I'm not rushing to be like, I need anti-aging serum right now. Like, I really don't give a fuck. Like, I don't have clear skin. It's never gonna be clear. <laughs> like, I don't understand why aging is like a bad thing. Like, do you know how many, like, older people are like, still so wonderful? Both inside and out? Maybe it's fixed? Question mark? I was looking for birds, if I had any birds. Never mind, it's not fixed. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know what I done fucked up. You know, I'm gonna update every single mod and maybe hope that helps.
Whoops, I took a screenshot. I know nothing's on the screen right now. I'm monitoring something. Everything looks fine to me. What are we talking about? Age? I don't think aging is scary. I think the unknown is scary, though. Or, like, I. Not to me personally, but, like. The thought of the future can be scary. Especially if, like, you already have a poor outlook on the world already. Then, like, there would be no, you know... Some people may see that, you know, nothing's gonna get better.
Uh, ow. You want? Know I'm going to stretch. I'm going to get some grapes because I'm kind of a little hungry. So I'll be RB. gamers I got some grapes I really love grapes my tracking doesn't apparently but the tracking will always be a hater we may be in the clear question mark Because I don't remember us having any lag issues when we last played. Unless we did and I just didn't notice it at all. Oh my god, I keep forgetting about the fucking snow. Uh, please don't tell me there's a cat down here. I'm gonna be- No! Where's the monitor to lag? And you want not notice the lag? Oh no. I can't do that shit. I complain enough when Final Fantasy crashes. Not crashes, when it lags. And had enough. I really like putting grapes in the freezer. So they're nice and like really crunchy and cold. I don't think it's weird though. Uh, but what I was gonna do was find that place where I said it would be a great place to build. They become candy. Oh.
But what I was gonna say when I before I was rudely interrupted by uh where the, the fuck I was gonna say. Um I wanted to find the clearing that I want to build at. Uh, look, we got animals already. Because the village was right next to it. I remember that much. I'm so scared of the snow now. Like... I know it was around the village, but where around the village? A kitty! Oh my god, I can't wait to get fish! Does anyone know else like some like different types of fruit? Oh, a polar bear. Yeah, one of my favorite fruits is uh mango and pineapple. Putting them together, I'd marry you the second you give them to me. I love mangoes and pineapple. Oh! Dragon fruit is delicious. I've never had durian, though. The only things I see about it is people calling it very stinky when you cut into it. Plus, it's a- it's a acquired taste? I don't have any durian near my area, so... I wouldn't know what it tastes like. But dragon fruit? Okay, so we're, we're gonna have a little story time. Little Dama was, um... Stuck in Washington, D.C. with food poisoning. And I know that already sounds TMI, but it's gonna get worse. <laughs> but, little Dama, the day before their flight, got food poisoning. And didn't want to cancel the flight, didn't want to not go. So Dama got on the plane. That was probably a big mistake. Because, uh, Dama kept having to take trips to the bathroom. Literally every two hours. Every two hours, Dama need to find a bathroom. Now you might be asking, what the hell did you get food poisoning from? The answer's nachos. I got food poisoning? from nachos. Oh, it's so pretty. Nachos? How? It was the cheese! 
I was with a group of people. And... I was the only person who got sick from the cheese. Do I not have the place in class? Me! But yes. Dama got food poisoning from nachos. And since then, he's never been the same. I'm gonna go inside a hut camp. I'm gonna poison a potato. But yes, I got food poisoning from the nacho cheese. I was the only person who apparently got sick from the nacho cheese. So I don't know. I don't know what, who did what to my plate of nachos. But I went home night before the flight, ramps, horrible, was up for hours in the bathroom, releasing some demons. <laughs> And that happened. I, w I was releasing demons every day. For about four to five days straight. And it was even worse. When I had when I was constantly walking around on the streets of DC. I couldn't enjoy anything. I was literally in Spain without the S. I was in pain. I ate raw chicken years ago since the restaurant did not fuck it. Somehow, I did not get sick. Oh, man. That reminds me when, uh, a while ago, I was trying to air fry some chicken tenders. And, uh, the outside, hot. The inside, the chicken, though. <laughs> Some of it was still raw! I was like... <laughs> And, um, trying to microwave the chicken to be cooked. Yeah, good luck. It tasted gamey, so I just threw all of it away. I never felt more sadder to throw away some wonderful chicken nuggets. I mean, tenders. But no! Ew! Oh god! It's gonna be so soggy! No, don't do that! In it, but why? I'm gonna make sure it's cooked. 
just put it back in the oven or the air fryer. Listen, I didn't know about air fryers until literally like a few years ago. My first time trying to use an air fryer, listen, I don't read manuals, so <laughs> I usually throw that shit away. The last time I read a manual was when I put my chair together, my gaming chair. Air fried tofu. This smells pretty good. I would need to put some sriracha on it though. <laughs> Uh, dude, I'm really missing some gyoza. I... what was it? It was this hack I learned from YouTube Shorts. You can air fry your gyoza or your dumplings. All you gotta do is like put some oil on them though. And air fry them for like... I don't remember how long. A few minutes, I think. And oh, they were so wonderful and crunchy. Oh my God. I miss having gyoza. I miss dumplings too. I just haven't bought any. Since I have to go to, uh, like, a different store for that. And they're expensive. Used to air fry- oh! Used to air fry fresh spring rolls lightly, brushed with sesame oil. That sounds so wonderful. Think we fixed the lag? Question mark. I'm just gonna knock on wood real quick. Yeah, it seems fixed. I hope so. That would be really stupid, it was just like a mod that needed to be updated, though. I mean, I guess so. But, if it was just like, one mod not being optimized all that well, that would be pretty stupid. Because I remember when I... When I ended the first Minecraft stream, I did update something. I don't remember what I updated. And I don't remember having lag issues before. But yeah, um... Air frying dumplings with a little bit of oil on top of them, and they come out so crunchy. I made a sauce for it too, but I don't remember what I what it was. I know sriracha was there. I think it was literally just sriracha and like hot sauce. But that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't need to. A sauce is a sauce. I'm I'm limited in my resources. <laughs> So, but it was pretty tasty. Sometimes I would put them in raw. <gasps> oh my god. I miss like putting gyoza in ramen and just having that steam with the ramen. Really, I really need to get some, some gyoza. Like, 
good news. We we can make dumplings. I had dumplings on the brain, and now we we can make it. We Thai peppers and soy sauce be considered as a drink sauce? I don't see why not. I thought that was an enemy villager. Yeah, I'm gonna say why not. Sauces don't need to be like all that crazy type of stuff. Cause soy sauce itself is considered a sauce, a dipping sauce, no? That's true. Yeah. Or was I think this was the area I wanted to build in. Cause it had a lot of flowers. But I feel like I feel like there's a different area that I want to build in. Cause this was like the flattest land. But the only thing was that there's a lot of ice, and unless I melt it all down... I've just been around people who look at me and say it isn't a sauce. Screw those people! Sauce is whatever you make of it. People who literally just take melted cheese and call that a sauce. If melted cheese can be called a sauce, so can just soy sauce and peppers. Sauces don't need to be all this fancy stuff. Sauce is whatever you want. We shouldn't police people on food. Is water and salt a sauce? Shit. Uh. Now let's not start getting crazy ideas. Mom, <laughs> that makes you a hypocrite. Well, yeah. <laughs> It's like, why water and salt? But like, water and salt is in like, most sauces. Corn? Natural pasta sauce. That reminds me when I saw... I saw someone just eating just like straight up pasta. So I was like, huh. But like they were actually eating like buttered pasta. So I thought, huh, I can be like the cool kids and just eat pasta. No, they were eating buttered pasta. And I was like, ew, just plain pasta is gross. 
Because it is. Just plain pasta. Uh -uh. Raw pasta. <laughs> I mean, that's not pretty tasty either. Do the squid drop food yet? Yeah, we got squid. Was it here? I don't think so. Boil and done. Sauce already on it. Oh my god, no. Oh shit, I'm low on health. Oh shit, creeper. Watch out! You dumb villager! Yeah, raw pasta, not tasty. Plain pasta, also not tasty. But yeah, um, back to my um, food poisoning story. Um, so I was, like, basically stuck in D.C., Washington, D.C., for a few days, and I couldn't eat a damn thing. One time I was on a bus, right? And um the group I was hanging out with they were going to like this really cool pizza shop where like you can get a whole pizza yourself, you can customize it. And that pizza looked delicious. I on the other hand because of a because of a cheese accident whatever the fuck happened to the cheese on my nachos i as soon as i stepped off the bus because moments before i was feeling very dehydrated so i was chugging water first mistake second mistake was getting off the bus and as soon as I smelt the smell from the pizza shop, I nearly released some demons onto the street. Because the smell was so strong, and it was horrible. Like, it wasn't a delicious smell. It would have been a delicious smell if I was not sick with food poisoning. I am still, to this day, so mad that I was food poisoned the night before I got on my flight.
So then, you know, I couldn't enjoy any food. I could not, because, you know, I was already lactose tolerant. And then I'm sensitive to red meat, specifically blood from red meat. I don't know where that happened either. I tried to look it up and there's like, like, there's a certain type of bug that like, if you get bit by it, basically you're, you're kind of fucked. Like you get, like if you get bit by it, all of a sudden you are sensitive to red meat. So, I don't know if I got bit by a bug like that. One star tick? Yeah, I think so. I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> Apparently, I got bit at one point in life. But, now I have like not only do I have an intolerance to lactose, but now I have an intolerance to red meat. And most of my diet is dairy, red meat. So how is a priest supposed to live? How is a priest supposed to live without his daily dose of pizza and ice cream? Because, because, I'm not sensitive to yogurt at all. It's specifically just milk and ice cream with lactose. And sometimes meat. Like, if it's not meat that's well done, like cooked to death, then I release demons. <laughs> Yeah, I must have gotten bitten by a one-star tick at some point, but I'm really pissed off. Because that has caused me so much pain. For some reason, I get sick from all animal products, but bug products like honey are fine. That is interesting. Isn't it wha- isn't the human body so damn wacky? Like, bro, you can be born with, like, some skill issues, and then if you get bit or stung or something happens from bugs or animals to you, you get even more skill issues. Like, that, that's so wacky to me. But yeah, um... So, the entire four to five day trip was horrible. Because I was really excited to go to this pizza shop. But then as soon as I stepped off the bus, everything smelt horrible. My body felt horrible. And I nearly released demons. Onto the street. And it's just like, ugh. Yeah, I couldn't have pizza. I didn't even have dinner that night either. I barely ate that entire day. When I got off the plane, actually no, before I got on the plane, I got a Starbucks coffee. First mistake. I don't remember what I did for lunch at all. 
I don't even remember if I ate lunch, honestly. No, I think I did. I think I had a burrito. Second mistake. <laughs> Third mistake was chugging a whole bunch of water because I all of a sudden felt dehydrated. And then... So that was the third mistake. The fourth mistake was getting off the damn bus. World is nerfing us all. Damn you, world! But yeah, look. Like And like, after I smelt the pizza and all the strong smells, I rushed up to the restaurant's bathroom. The restaurant's bathroom looked like, ho like horrible, by the way. There is literally stains. There was a spit that there was a detached toilet seat in my stall. And I was like, what type of place are we eating at? The toilet I was at had a toilet seat. But then there was just a spare random toilet seat right next to me. And there was stains. So that made me feel even worse. That night I did not have dinner. I had a granola bar. That is all I could down. Just granola. I had granola, a fuck ton of water, and uh, some medicine. And I went to bed hungry. <laughs> Cause all I had was granola bar. And I, I think I had some Pockies too. I brought some Pocky with me, some strawberry Pocky. But all I had that day was, gr like, granola. I- and, like, well, not that day, but all I had for dinner was fucking granola. And then I woke up, felt like shit. Day two was worse because we were really moving around a lot, like, we were doing, like, tours and shit. And I and me needing to go to the bathroom every 30 minutes to an hour to two hours. I was suffering. So the next morning, I had breakfast. I had eggs. Uh, I think I had like bacon or sausage. Probably um, bad idea number one. But, it, you know, I tried to have a normal breakfast. It went down okay. Because, you know, I didn't eat the previous night. Barely. Lunchtime, though, was horrible. Because I was trying to find food that didn't have dairy or meat. And, ev and uh, we went to a mall to eat lunch. And there is... Okay, so like, you know, I'm in Washington, D.C., right? You would think that, you know, maybe there's some meatless options, non-dairy options, or lactose-free options, even. In the mall, there were none. So I found a grilled, so I found a place and I got 
a grilled cheese, some fruit, and boba tea. <laughs> And that's that was lunch. The grilled cheese, the cheese was barely melted, tastes like shit. I also had a smoothie as well. It was in a paper straw. Paper straw came apart. You cannot drink with a paper straw. So I basically had to chug the smoothie. Boba tea had milk in it. So then I need to release some demons after. And most of the fruit I did not like, actually. I don't like cantaloupe and I don't like melon. I don't like watermelon either. I think the only things I ate from that was blueberries and strawberries. And like, I think like three chunks of pineapple. Everything else was inedible. I don't even remember what I had for dinner that night. I don't remember. I legit don't. I can only retain so much from, like, that horrible week. Because genuinely... That's a rough time. You're telling me... I should write an apology letter to every single toilet. Like, it was the worst time than I probably ever had. Because, like, you know, me being someone with lactose intolerance, you know, you would think I've known some pretty horrible times when I decide to eat all the cheese in the world, all the dairy in the world, and then just take it. You know, just... you know, Just not care about anything, eat all the cheese, all the pizza, and just except the consequence. You would think I would know a bad time. That was a really bad time. Mind you, all of that happened just from nacho cheese. Something was fucked up in my nacho cheese that it made me suffer for like a week. Because, like, I think... I think on the second to last day, or maybe the very last day... No, 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 it wasn't the last day. It was the second to last day. We went on, like, a... On, like, a little cruise, a little ferry. Whatever type thing. And it was like it was like to celebrate our last night before uh, we did some extra stuff the next day and then take the flight home. But damn, what the hell was I talking about? I already lost what I was going to talk about. Um, I forgot what I was trying to talk about. Oh, the second to last night, we went on a, on like this cruise thing. And that night, I chowed- I felt better enough to chow down on some beef and chicken tacos. I loaded those babies up too. 
and release some demons right after. <laughs> But I felt better enough to where I could just, you know, load up on some wonderful food and literally just accept the consequence right after. I have no regrets for those tacos. Tama, this is so TMI. Welcome to my stream. <laughs> We're going to talk about TMI stuff. Yesterday, we had a stream that was just, it was like an hour of like talking about this horrible Valentine's Day food <laughs> that has mold and we can't afford chicken, so we got to get the pigeons. We're too broke to actually afford food, so we got to make substitutes for it. I'm pretty sure we talked about some pretty disgusting food yesterday, so I don't think me talking about being food poisoned is as bad as a consequence for yesterday. Yesterday's stream was also six hours. <laughs> six hours of just BuzzFeed quizzes and talking about horrible food concepts. Horrible things we have to substitute food with. Like, I still can't believe that stream yesterday. I was so good at eating yesterday. No, the hell it was not. Yesterday was finding out how broke the memory order actually is. You know, I'm trying to rebuild this damn cathedral, but we we don't have enough money to afford chicken, so we gotta kill the pigeons! <laughs> we gotta eat pigeons, man! We're eating cardboard spaghetti! Ain't broke, we just improvising? Uh-uh! No, uh-uh! I just realized we broke. You just realized? Listen, all of the cathedral funding went into the windows. All we have is the window. 
All we have right now is just the windows. We can't afford anything else. <laughs> All of the sparkles? Yeah, that's actually dust. <laughs> it's so dusty in here. <laughs> It's all we can afford. We ate the wit, huh? Oh, I, I'm sorry. We did what? Would you like to explain what we did to the windows again? Why? Why? You're telling me we smashed the original windows to make candy? Why? <laughs> Why? So that's why I had to replace the windows. You know, it 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 wasn't because the the fucking cathedral was left abandoned for centuries. No, it's because you guys smashed the windows to make candy. Really? You know how expensive those windows were. You guys smash the windows in my absence? And made candy? You guys are sick. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are horrible. Day. Listen, we can scramble enough cash. <laughs> I'll take you guys to KFC. We don't have to eat the pigeons anymore. We don't have to eat the broken glass. Eat <laughs> We don't need <laughs> we don't need to eat. Maybe we can afford some silverware. We 
don't have to eat pigeons. We don't have to eat mold, cardboard. I can get you guys some actual clothes instead of construction paper. We don't have to be broke anymore. <laughs> Maybe we can set up donations for uh, the cathedral, so then, you know, instead of focusing on rebuilding the cathedral, we can- <laughs> We can get you guys some clothes and some food! <laughs> because we can't be eating like this, man! I'm part of the mold in my spaghetti! <laughs> We don't have to do this anymore. <laughs> Shit. I'm trying. Uh. Shit. But listen, we don't need... We don't need to smash the glass anymore for candy. I could take you guys to, to, to the one dollar store, and we can pick out some cheap Valentine's candy that tastes like ass. <laughs> It'll be my treat to you. <laughs> but you guys would just eat the wrappers instead. You guys are so innovative like that. The dollar store is still gonna cost two dollars for a bunch. <laughs> no, it won't be in the budget. I'll use my personal expenses, and let's see. Um, I got about sixty nine cents. <laughs> so. If we put our 69 cents together... Because if I have 69 cents... And the rest of you have 69 cents, then maybe we can get one box of... Horrible... Cheap Valentine's Day candy. Gotta go the <laughs> shit! You're telling me we can't afford candy, but we can afford the TNT? How would you guys make the TNT? Huh? <laughs> it's 
stole it from a mining site. And you guys are thieves? <laughs> You know, one day, one, one day we all got to sit down and have a chat. <laughs> one day we got to figure out what all of you look like. I don't even know what you guys would look like. I mean, I have the idea of, uh, for the fan mascot. I have an idea that it would basically look like a biblically correct angel. But, like, you guys look real scrungly and fucked up. That would be a fun thing to do. Maybe we could sit down <laughs> and maybe come up with some, some ideas of how you all would look like. Because to me, all of you would look like fucked up, bi biblically accurate angels. <laughs> Wearing construction paper in a newspaper. <laughs> that that can be the alternate outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll get you guys, uh, like a mini veil, like me, like the one I have, and like have it with a whole bunch of ribbons, but like the ribbons, uh, look moldy. <laughs> I was like, you guys, I would imagine all of you to look really scrungly. <laughs> I'm trying to get a uh, an iPad this month so I can uh, get back to digital art. You know... <sighs> That's the way we could do it. Maybe I could try and draw you guys out. <laughs> I need to figure out how to share, like, share the screen from an iPad, though. I'd probably have to plug it into the back of my PC. It's like, I... I think you guys would probably... <sighs> have a ribbon on like mine on my neck and like lace but like the lace is like wear and tear like you guys <laughs> you guys kind of look a little homeless <laughs> I don't even have an inventory sorter. God damn it. I almost went out with no food. Oh my god. Uh. And then, like, maybe we'll design you, like, a cute little newspaper hat. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, so... The ribbon that you guys wear will be just like mine, but it's made of, like, paper from the Bible. <laughs> so it has a whole bunch of fucking words on it, but none of it makes sense. 
and you guys somehow manage to like make a ribbon out of paper. <laughs> you guys would look so cute. <laughs> Like, you guys would probably look scary, but also at the same time, like, really scrunkly. It's like, I probably couldn't be able to take you serious after a while because you guys just look cute. No scrolling through Twitter. Twitter is on fire. I don't know the spider. Okay, but where, bestie? Oh no, let's get back inside.
Was it around here that I want to build? Damn it! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck, shit, fuck! <sighs> That's dangerous. I just want some fish! I think it was this area that I was gonna build in. I just need to... Break the water! Break, break the water? Break the ice! Yeah, break the water! Call that a water break. <laughs> I know that wasn't funny. There's a lot of pumpkins. What can we make of pumpkin? Not many pumpkin things, actually. We got Hi, hi. Huh? Pumpkin crust. Huh? Pumpkin beer. Pumpkin slice. Pumpkin soup. Stuffed pumpkin. Bowl of stuffed pumpkin. Interesting.
I mean, I'm really excited to get into the cooking, the cooking mods. There's not many pumpkin things we can make, sadly. Because I'm going to be like, oh yeah, dude, all we have to do is survive on pumpkins. Nope. Maybe I'll build up here? Because it's pretty close to the village. Very close, actually. I just have to look out for all the fucking snow. If there's any wrong move and I'll fall... Six feet under. These look like Christmas treats. Her. I just live down there. It's it's some of the flattest land we have. I say, you can build up top or you can build down. I don't know what type of house we're making either. I mean, if we break this. Then we have a perfect... We have a water source nearby. And we have animals! In a village right nearby. I don't know what we could put here. Yeah, I'm gonna mark this as, um... Building house. I'm green. Now, the type of house we're gonna build, I don't know. Um, ow, my neck. Let me see. I saw fucking Wizard 101 <laughs> brought up. <clears throat> brought up. Um, my, uh, so. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm gonna fucking watch a YouTube short right now, but sure. Oh my god, the music that they use for this is horrible! Why don't you use those blocks for building? Why don't you put another- Oh my god. I'm so glad you guys can't see what I'm watching right now. Like the initial- Right. The initial build is okay, but they put a nether portal inside the house. Hmm. 
and I don't know why they do that. Like, I would never put another portal inside the house. Why don't you have the windows like that? That would bother me. That's a fuck ton of wood. I need to know the ratio. <laughs> Ratioed! Because I may do this house tutorial I'm looking at, but I may replace the wood used. I think we found... I found something. I'll keep that one in mind. Oh my god, Thomas, just a starter home. Yeah. But I like having nice houses. Ten by ten? Ooh, that's even better. The previous thing I looked at was... But that's so much stone! There's like different type. what? That's like 15,000 different types of stone. I would have to get silk touched. Oh my god. This isn't starter friendly! <laughs> I don't have silk touch!
That's just the base of the house. The, nah. But still, th that's not starter friendly. That, that's asking for silk touch. Do you make barrels again? If I can spell it right. Wood. Duh. Because I'm thinking maybe maybe we can just deconstruct. I mean, um, borrow some of these houses, um, wood. Like, that wouldn't be mean, right? If we have a few villagers without a home. Right? I'm not heartless, right? <laughs> Okay, and um, I'll mark that as um another save later. Oh, Minion is streaming! Holy shit! That's a pretty easy house to build.
bamboo. We don't got no damn bamboo. <laughs> Tree's doing some wacky shit. I have some grapes left, but I kind of want to save them. For like middle of the night munchies. I'm like, yep, time to eat some grapes. This one seems a bit too long. We're gonna need a shit ton of stone. I will probably borrow I uh, quote borrow wood from these villages. Mm. Wish I could just take all of it, like, at once. I know your house be gone. Listen, it was bound to happen eventually. Yeah, I'm gonna follow a tutorial. I may not... I may alter the, uh... The tutorial I'm following, because I feel like I may not have enough room, so I may double... I may double the ratio, or make it slightly bigger. Ow! You. It's dangerous out here.
I'm fucking need to make a new axe. I didn't make an iron axe at all. Damn it. Uh... Plus, this is only just a starter home, so it doesn't be fa it doesn't have to be fancy or anything. I'm probably gonna install a basement though, cause uh. Since we have the mo the winery and uh, beer mod, we can treat it like it's Stardew Valley and put all the wine in the basement. I don't have any iron on me. Bags come in handy. All right, where is that house I was demolishing? Yeah, so we're probably we're gonna need to use different materials, huh? When was I blown up by a creeper? Hello? Did anyone see a creeper? When the hell was I blown up by a creeper? Was I... I was I was getting the wood from the house. I was looking up. There were no mobs near me, right? When was I blown up by a creeper? Bro, I'm so confused. 
<laughs> I didn't see any creepers. But apparently one was next to me and blew me up. So confused. You know what? <laughs> We're just gonna save and quit. <laughs> saw a creeper. Did you see a creeper? But yep, yeah, that it, it's fucking Jover. It it's just Jover. Like the fuck. Let's see, um, I'm still working on next week's stream. I mean, yeah, stream schedule. So, uh, I'll release that when it's Jover. <laughs> um, Saturday and Sunday are days off. I think I'm taking Monday off too. We're gonna do four streams a week, unless I do a random. But uh, I think I'm good with four streams per week. Um, there was
was a podcast type of thing that I applied to. I haven't received um, any messages yet. Um, but the podcast is basically like talking about like whatever and then um and the host like draws you so I did apply to that um I don't know what day that's gonna be on we haven't spoken I just applied <laughs> But uh, the host of it streams on Twitch, and I'm not sure if that means I need to stream on Twitch too, because I did say that I stream on YouTube, but I have a Twitch. I just don't stream on there. I mainly have Twitch to support my other friends. But, um... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if uh, Father goes on a podcast. <laughs> I still don't know what day that would ever fall on, or what time either. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Um. As I've said for the couple days, um, very, 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 very special announcement. <laughs> I still need to make that damn announcement. Um, it'll probably be on Twitter. Or, should I do it right now? Like, I have zero shit ready. <laughs> Let me look at my calendar. Oh, fuck it. Next week's my fucking birthday! <laughs> That's it. That's the point. That's it. <laughs> so yeah, um next week is my birthday. Um I'm planning to do a birthday stream. But I also don't know if I'm gonna be dragged in anywhere for like any surprise surprise parties, birthdays, dinners, whatever. But next week is my motherfucking birthday. <laughs> I plan on streaming. Cause like I'm gonna do the day before stream i don't know if i'm gonna stream on the actual day and i have that on the calendar as well like i don't know if i may stream on my actual birthday but i am planning a day before birthday stream so uh, i don't know what we're gonna do <laughs> one of my besties azzy uh offered to uh play games with me that day. So, uh... You should be very, very, very exciting. I don't really know too many people, like, closely in the VTubing community. There's only been about maybe a few people that I've actually spoken to. Besides, uh both of my mamas.
But yes, um... Thursday is my birthday. We're gonna do a pre-birthday stream on Wednesday. Because I don't know if I'm actually gonna stream on uh, Thursday. We're gonna play games. We're gonna chill. We're gonna- basically, it's a full-on random day. I really don't know what we're gonna do that day. Because usually people do, like, subathons and stuff. Girl, I can't do a subathon. We're all broke. <laughs> and I would be way too exhausted. Like, after a while, you would guys just hear me begging to end stream. But yeah, um... Actually, let me bring up my schedule that is not done yet. Because I'm still planning it. I have Monday off for next week. Tuesday is a game. Wednesday is a pre-birthday stream. Thursday is actual birthday. May or may not stream. And then Friday is Minecraft. I think we're gonna do like Minecraft Fridays. Probably. And Saturday and Sunday I also have off. Yeah, um, the schedule's not done yet, so that's why I haven't, like, put up anything on screen yet. Because I'm still finalizing stuff and, like, trying to get a grasp of what may happen next week. Yeah, that's why I'm taking Saturday and Sunday of this week off, because uh, I got some shit to do. I also gotta make some clips, make some shorts, so uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a work weekend. But I'm- it should be fun, I- I- It's gonna be awkward to like- Not necessarily awkward, it's gonna be new to sh be sharing- Like having a birthday as a VTuber, I guess? <laughs> Cause like, it all seems a little... Unreal? Like I literally- Debuted last month. I've, I'm barely a month old. We're on the second week. And next week's my birthday. On my third week of VTubing. I don't know. But yeah, um, I'm hoping to have a wonderful pre-birthday stream. Um, you guys should be able to see Azzy again if you enjoyed hearing Azzy when uh, they're with me when I played Faith. <laughs> um, I may ask him if like... I don't know. I may ask some other people if like we can all get together and play some games and like do stuff cuz i'm also thinking what if we watched a, mu a movie as a community 
And you're like, well, how the hell would that work? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we can, like, agree on, a on like, a movie to watch. And, like, you know, I can't put it up on screen because that's copyright. But, like, we could watch it on our own time. Not on our own time. Like, we'll watch it together, but technically also not together. Is that a good idea? It sounds like a good idea, because it's been done before. And I, I'd have to put it like a timer. Like a timer of like how long the movie is and like where we are. I don't know, it sounds like a good idea. But yeah, um, I really don't know what we're doing on my birthday. I just know that I'm at least playing, like, one game with someone else. Um, where are my thumbnails? Well, you know, I'm not going to spoil that. <laughs> You've got to have something for the secrets, am I right? But yeah, um, look forward to seeing next week's schedule. Um, I'll probably finalize it over this weekend and then post it on Sunday or before Sunday. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll post it on Sunday either way because it's a new week. But, um, yeah, Thursday's my birthday, um, we're not gonna do, like, a birthday hashtag or anything, cause, <laughs> I mean, you can if you want, but, like, I think that's pretty unnecessary, um, You don't have to get me anything if you, like, want to gift me something. Like, please save your money, because, like, I know all memoriates are broke. <laughs> because if you guys were smashing the windows to make candy, I doubt you guys can afford gifts. <laughs> But yeah, um, if you absolutely, lutely, lutely, lutely want to get me a gift, my throne is linked. You can, there's plenty of stuff to get. You can also suggest things if you want. Broke string. <laughs> All the memorials come up to me with a rock on a string. But happy birthday, father! <laughs> hey, happy birthday! <laughs> now, happy birthday! Here's a rock on a string. <laughs> I would love your gift either way. I just put it on a shelf. <laughs> And never touch it. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll put it in a picture frame and hang it up. I'll appreciate each one of you's rock on a string. But yeah, um, you don't have to do anything for my birthday, you don't have to get me anything. But if you want to be... If you want to be Mr. or Mrs. Moneybags... Thrones linked. Just... <laughs> I don't know. You can get me anything. You can also suggest stuff. Just don't get me a walking cane. Because I'm not that old. 
I'm only a few thousand years old. Listen, just because I got gray hair doesn't mean I'm that ancient. I'm only a few thousand years old. <laughs> But yeah, um, I think that's about it. So, uh, we're going to call it there for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had fun, cause I did. <laughs> uh, look forward to seeing the schedule. I'll post it on Sunday and uh, I'll make a birthday stream announcement as well so uh, make sure to look at my Twitter all my socials they're all linked so uh <laughs> Stay healthy, drink water, please don't break more glasses. Don't break more windows, okay? We can afford cheap candy. Don't break any more glass, because I have to replace it. 